Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I have another thrift haul for you today, and I hope you enjoy it. I picked up these two Taylor Smith Taylor plates. They're six and a quarter inch bread and butter or dessert plates in the Reveille pattern. Pick them up whenever I can. Love this pattern. If you remember, a couple of videos ago, I picked up two cups. So I think eventually I'm just going to put this all into one um, listing. I do have the cups listed already, but I think I'm gonna group them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Taylor Smith Taylor was out of Chester, West Virginia. These pieces date to 1960s, and they are in the versatile pattern. Taylor Smith Taylor had a bunch of different shapes, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the shapes right now. Their first shape was the Empire shape that dates to the 1930s, was designed by John P. Thorley, and this shape became the basis for their Lorray pastel patterns. Walter Teague um, designed the conversation shape in the 50s. That was kind of more of a modern design. And John Wilkes designed the versatile shape, which you see right here in the late 1960s. Picked up another Lily Pond's bowl. It's Indiana glass in the 605 line. I'm gonna show you the back. That's where all the embossing is. Really pretty sunflower kind of a design. They date from the 1930s all the way into the 1990s. They intermittently made this pattern. The light green was the very first pattern made, and that was in the Depression years. If you can find one of those, you can date it back to then. The sugar and creamers in the Lily Pond set are absolutely the hardest pieces to find. And if you remember a while back, I found one in the milk glass. This I also have listed, but again, I think I'm going to list them both together. And that's about $20 for the pair. They also came in a clear, which you see right here. They came in a frosted clear, the light green I had mentioned, an avocado green, a marigold iridized milk glass piece, and a gold. Picked up these bowls, I think, um, in the June Park thrift store. I'm not really sure, but I had never heard of Broadhurst Staffordshire Ironstone before, so I was kind of curious to get them, take them home, and do some research. They're really, really pretty. They date to the 1950s, and they're part of the Constable series. These are green nine inch bowls and they had different scenes. These happen to be all the farm scene. They did come in different colors. I think they came in pink um, and blue. I know that for sure. Iron stone being a type of vitreous pottery first made in the UK in the early 19th century. Iron stone is a type of stoneware that has been uh, produced to feature a thinner and more refined appearance than regular stoneware. It has more of a porcelain look as you can see right here but it's much more durable than porcelain. I'm going to be asking $30 for these three bowls. They do have some crazing on the inside. I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't really affect its value. These were a really good find. I picked them up at the Goodwill. They're federal milk glass in the iridescent color. They're tavern scene six inch beer mugs. The pattern is simply called FEG9. They're six inches. They have a really cool embossed pattern here, right here. A couple of guys sitting around a table. They date to the late 50s, early 60s. I'm gonna ask, I think, about $40 for the set. Interesting platter I picked up at the Goodwill. It's Anchor Hawking, as it says right there, in the Cross and Olive Collection. Gotta say, I have never heard of the Cross and Olive Collection. I couldn't even, although I found other pieces listed, through all my research, I can't even give you a date when these were produced, but obviously they're they're more on the newer side. This is a 10 and 3 quarters inch five part relish dish and they sell for about $10. I know they're discontinued but I can't give you an exact date on when they were made. When I first picked up these bowls, I can't even remember where I found them. They're Sierra Ironstone uh, made from the kilns of MS. MS standing for Max Schoenfeld. I thought for sure at first glance that they were Franciscan pottery because to me they look just like Franciscan pottery. I can tell you that this pattern was discontinued in 1979. I can tell you that Max Schoenfeld was a Los Angeles distributor of lots of different products including pottery in China. And I can tell you, and this is why it started to make sense to me when I read about this and did some research, that Gladding McBean, who all who did make the Frances Francescan line, excuse me, also made a line called Kalina for Schoenfeld from 1930 to 1951. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, and it's also speculated that he also designed this pattern. So that kind of makes a lot of sense for me because they look just like Franciscan. And I'm going to be asking $18 for the two balls. They're in just perfect condition. I picked up two balls right here. They are Indiana glass in the Logan Berry pattern. I'm going to turn one over here so you can see that side also because that's where all the pretty is. Also known as strawberry relish, which I didn't know, and I've had this pattern before. It's in the 606 line. And they're about seven and three quarter inch bonbon bowls. The first, uh, they first produced Logan Berry in the 1920s in pink and green in the 600, in the 606 line. And these molds were used well into the 70s to produce a contemporary carnival glass you see here. So I'm going to date these to the early 70s, and I'm going to be asking, I think, somewhere around twenty dollars for the set. These right here were just the coolest things I've ever seen. I can tell you I found no information on them. I think I picked them up at the Salvation Army. And they also had one in lavender, uh, which unfortunately did not have a coaster. So I didn't pick it up. So I'm assuming it's a set of four. I did research upon research. I found nothing like these roly-polies with the coasters. They're just super cool. And I think I'm going to be asking about, about $18 for the set of three. So I hope you enjoy the haul. That's it for today. I know it's kind of a small haul, and I think I'm going to be keeping my hauls down a little small these days because not only is it 110 degrees outside and not very comfortable to thrift out there, but they're just not restocking much yet. So I do have another haul coming up real soon. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.